In this machine learning class, we will see the polynomial regression model from fourth unit supervised learning. And in this class, we will see the definition of polynomial regression and the need for this polynomial regression model. After that, let us see one example that is predicting external marks based on internal marks for 15 students. First, let us see what is polynomial regression model. Okay, this model is extension of simple linear model by adding extra predictors obtaining by raising the power of predictors. Okay, we know that y equal to f of x, isn't it? So, here y is dependent variable and x is independent variable. So, x is otherwise called as predictor. Now, we are going to raise the powers of predictors to convert the simple linear model into polynomial regression model. Right? So, uh, suppose if we are having three variables, then the predictors are x, x square and x cube. That is, we increase the powers of predictors. Okay? And this approach provides a simple way to yield non-linear fit-to-do data. If the data is non-linear, then the polynomial model is exactly uh, predicting the output. Okay? Here, f of x that is y equal to f of x equal to c0 plus c1 x1 plus c2 x square plus c3 x cube okay uh, here the c0 c1 c2 c3 are coefficients right and it also called a special case of multiple linear regression model okay so uh, in the multiple linear regression we add some polynomial terms. Okay, then this will be converted into a polynomial regression model. Right? So, the polynomial regression model is extension of simple linear regression model as well as multiple linear regression model. Next, let us see the definition of a polynomial regression model. Okay? So, this is the regression algorithm that models the relationship between dependent variable y and independent variable x as nth degree polynomial. Okay. Nth degree polynomial equation is y equal to c0 plus c1x plus c2x square plus x zeta up to cn x power n. Okay. So, this is the um, equation for polynomial regression model. Okay. It is a linear model with some modification in order to increase the accuracy. Okay, which modification we did here? We are raising the power of the predictor. Okay, so here the data set used is non-linear data set for training the polynomial regression model. Okay, non-linear data set is used here and the non-linear data set will not give the accurate result in the simple linear regression model. Isn't it? So, to make use of linear regression model to fit the complicated and non-linear function as well as the non-linear data set. Okay. So, the simple linear regression model will be converted into polynomial regression model by raising the power of predictors. If we apply the linear model on linear data set, if the data set is linear, then we can apply the linear regression model and that is called a simple linear regression. Okay, that will provide a very good result. For example, uh, if the data sets are like this, then we can easily implement the simple linear regression model. Then we will get the perfect output. Okay, y equal to a plus bx. We have already seen in our previous class itself. Isn't it? But if the data set is non-linear, if the data set is non-linear, suppose if we apply the simple linear model, then the output will be really wrong output. For example, just to see this diagram, here the outputs are, that is the data sets are non-linear, but suppose the predicted output is this one, that is y equal to b0 plus b1. Isn't it? So, this will give absolutely wrong output. We cannot apply the simple linear model on the non-linear data set. Okay? The problems are the loss function will increase, the error rate will be very high, the accuracy will be very much decreased. Okay, so in that situation, 
we need to apply polynomial model so that we will get the result like this predicted result okay y equal to b0 plus b1 x1 plus b2 x1 whole square here we are having different types of uh, polynomial regression model the polynomial regression model will be the simple linear regression model if the x is only one okay so this is x1 and this is for example y equal to b naught x naught x power 0 plus b1 x1 power 1 okay so single degree polynomial then this is a simple linear regression model okay next one is multiple linear regression model then there is no power for the predictor okay we are using the different predictor values without raising the power then the polynomial model is called as the multiple linear regression model okay and polynomial regression model suppose if we increase the power of predictor then this multiple linear model will be called as polynomial regression model see and now let us see one example for this uh, polynomial regression model predicting the external mark based on the internal marks for 15 students okay so uh, the training data set is given here so this is the training data set okay internal marks and corresponding external marks for 15 students are given here here uh, we are going to use the three degree polynomial okay the regression line is slightly curved for polynomial three degree okay this is not the straight line in this diagram this is not simply the straight line but this is curved like this slightly curved to fit the data into the regression line suppose if the regression degree will get increased then the regression line curve further okay see if we increase the degree into 14 then the curve will look like this isn't it so this causes the overfitting problem hence uh, the degree should be selected properly if the degree is very less then that will become a simple linear regression model and we won't get proper result that is underfitting model and if we increase more then overfitting model will occur so we properly select the degree of polynomial uh, so far we have seen the polynomial regression model from fourth unit supervised uh, supervised learning and we have seen what is polynomial regression model and one example also in the next class we will see the logistic regression model from fourth unit